Retail inflation eases to 7.01% in June 2022 though still above the RBI's comfort boundary of 6%. The drop in inflation in June is attributed to easing crude and edible oil prices in addition to excise duty cuts on petrol and diesel. Restrictions on food exports have also contributed to easing the pressure on food items. Analysts expect the downward inflationary trend to be short-lived as food prices are rising due to unexpected heat waves across the country. The risk of wholesale producers passing the higher input costs tracked through wholesale price-based inflation onto consumers too could contribute to the retail inflationary pressures in the coming months. Before we talk about the specific areas impacted by inflation, let's first understand what exactly is retail inflation and how is it calculated? Retail inflation, also called consumer inflation, is basically a rise in the prices of consumer goods where the same amount of money fetches you a lesser quantity of goods or services. People commonly refer to inflation as the rising cost of living. The government collects the average price of 260 goods and services each month from 1200 plus urban markets and villages, which is then plotted on the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The annual percentage change of prices in the CPI is then used as a measure of inflation, Now moving on to June 2022 specifically, retail inflation eased to 7.01% from 7.04% in May. So, did all the prices of goods and services increase at the same pace? No. So let's take a look at which areas were impacted the most in June. Fuel and light prices were the most affected, which increased by an average of 10.39%, followed by prices of food and beverages that rose by 7.56% compared to the same period a year ago. Transportation and communication items eased from 9.47% in May to 6.90% in June. Another major area affected by the increase in prices is food items, which comprise 39.05% of the entire CPI. The food industry's range is so wide that food inflation is measured separately through the Consumer Food Price Index CFPI. Food inflation eased slightly to 7.75% in June after hitting a 17-month high of 8.38% in April. The rise in June's food inflation is a result of an increase in the prices of almost all food items. Prices of edible oil eased to 9.36% amid the Russia-Ukraine conflict as Ukraine is a major exporter of sunflower oil. Prices of vegetables increased by 17.37%, and spices increased by 11.04%. However, pulses, one of the key components of the Indian diet, contracted by 1.02% in June. Although price increases are felt all over the country, Not all states have the same experience as some states bear a bigger brunt of price increases than others. Let's look at which states significantly felt the price spike in June. The people of Telangana suffered the most, having to deal with a 10.05% increase in retail prices compared to the same period a year ago. Residents of Andhra Pradesh paid 8.63% more for consumer items compared to the country's average of 7.01%. Retail price pressure in June was the lowest in Bihar at 4.68%, followed by Delhi at 5.06%. At 7.01%, retail inflation in June has kept above the RBI's comfort boundary of 6% for the sixth consecutive month. RBI Governor Shakta Kanadas has said recently that the current developments in Europe, primarily the Russia-Ukraine war, are impacting prices across the world and India is no exception to the price volatility. The RBI has already hiked the repo rate by 50 bits per second to 4.90% in its bi-monthly policy meet last month. It will have to continue to do a tightrope walk in the coming months in managing interest rates without jeopardizing the prospects of India's economic recovery. Get detailed data insights on retail inflation in addition to 3,000 plus data points on the Indian economy, society, and politics on the Mirrority. The Mirrority delivers groundbreaking news, quality podcasts and videos like never before. Download our app today to enjoy a complete news experience.